Coffee spaces are transforming the idea of uh, being more mobile and agile in the way we work. For anyone who owns an office, there's a big cost associated with the floor area, the rent. The Internet of Things desk is very much a project that's come out of smart buildings or intelligent office space. What if the building provides comfortable conditions through the desk instead of centralized systems that are embedded uh, within a building? At Arup, we've been working on smart buildings projects now for a number of years. The interest in having a, an enabled desk with um, interaction capabilities came out of client conversations. The project with Impact Up Tokyo gave us the opportunity of collaborating with a co-working space. What was exciting was testing some of this idea about uh, embedding uh, sensors uh, into furniture. The Internet of Things, as a definition, I think is quite simple, is uh, connecting uh, things uh, to the Internet, so it's a um, network uh, of uh, everything uh, we, we could think of. The IoT Desk we see as a platform for providing information and interaction. There's the environmental and uh, sensing category, so there's temperature obviously, how many people are there, and sound notably as well. We have different tasks we do during a day, and those tasks might require different levels of lighting, different types of temperature. So the desk has the ability to understand what is happening uh, during the course of a day, as well as what's happening over weeks and months. As we move throughout the seasons, we adapt to outdoor temperature. So the desk has to adapt. One of the most common issues in offices is uh, musculoskeletal disorder. So using cost-effective sensors and machine learning, we are continuously assessing. And if a person is in a suboptimal position for a period of time, the desk communicates with the user to make a change. From the building operations perspective, They'll be dealing with requests that relate to temperature. The way that is typically dealt with is a, an individual would then need to go to the location and do some local measurement. Often the conditions that had caused a complaint may have passed. And so being able to have uh, real-time data that's quite granular and local to log uh, simultaneously with, with a request for support is, is something that seems very useful. If you've got a map of all of those data points, you can have a system that detects automatically points that go outside an acceptable parameter and have the staff actually proactively dealing with problems before they get to the point of causing concern. The issue of privacy and data ownership is extremely important. Right now, most of the social media platforms keep data. We have been studying an alternative approach that is promoted by Tim Berners-Lee through the uh, project uh, SOLID. It's a project that aims to redesign the way data is shared in social media platforms. So the user owns the data all the time and only shares it with the platforms that uh, trust. So we think that this model is a much better model for implementation in the desk and that's what we are uh, studying and trying to implement now. Arup has a long tradition of delivering great engineering design in all sorts of areas. That's been complemented by a strong focus on research. The collaboration with the University of Southern California on this particular project is a case in point there where we have client interactions, we have our own ideas, but we also have an avenue to uh, pursue a more rigorous academic assessment. It's a natural outcome really of that combination of real drive for good design combined with quite a permissive and encouraging culture around research.